So um, what I want to focus on really in this module is creating some kind of sound to help fill out the intro or pad out the intro if you like. Now um, to do this I'm hoping to do something using the um, time machine or possibly the tone machine in contact and we can use that particular sampler engine to pretty much transform any sound we like into an atmospheric sound like a pad. So first of all I'm just going to create another um, MIDI track and as before use contact again no massive this time we're just going to go for contact all the way and I'm just going to have a quick look on my hard drive and see what I can find um, in fact I might even start off by trying to manipulate one of these sounds that I've already included in this sample um, library which comes with the course so possibly one of these effect sounds something with a with a lot of um, mid and high frequency content really so maybe maybe that sound so I'm going to create a new instrument by just double clicking on that and there's plenty of different ways I've already showed you a couple but that's that's another way to um, to create a new instrument from scratch just based on one sample okay I'm just gonna close the browser for a minute and go into edit mode as you can hear at the moment it's not really a um, it's not really sounding anything like um, pad sound or atmospheric sound but um, this is one of the really interesting things about um, contact. We can do some really interesting stuff by using the uh, time machine and tone machine. Now, the time machine allows us to really kind of granulize the sound. And we've got control over the, the speed. grain and how smooth the, the sort of attack and release of each grain is, the envelope of each grain if you like. So just by taking just by going to time machine mode and taking the speed right down. We've kind of created a almost like a, a raw synth oscillator sound. Um, I could try a few different algorithms here like time machine two. Okay, so back to where we were. Let's try a different engine. Tone machine, perhaps. Um. So, you know, that one makes for quite a nice, um, a nice kind of chord sound, if you like. Um, so, we could use that one as well. Um, definitely do something to change the sound, I mean, take the top end off with the filter. And maybe, again, like, like I showed you earlier, add some send effects. Um, let's see, maybe uh, a bit of reverb. Let's bypass the instrument effects as usual. A um, bit of reverb and maybe also some delay. Remember to uh, click on time so that we can um, set it to a specific time rather than just a... Um... Maybe not the triplets, maybe just go for the quarters. And have it panning as well. So it's quite nice to add some extra width. And the cool thing about the tone machine is it it actually tunes the sound perfectly to um, to whatever key you're hitting on the keyboard. So immediately there we've created quite a nice kind of kind of a, a chord stroke pluck kind of sound, which I think is quite nice. We could maybe play about with the envelope a bit. Especially if we let the tail ring out. Get a nice little um, artifact after the end. Uh, 
and then maybe we could also um, modulate this filter with the um, with the mod wheel again um, so that we can automate that within Ableton so MIDI CC1 <laughs> Maybe not open it all the way up because that's a bit extreme, but just get that balance right there. We can use that as another instrument to um, to kind of fill out our intro. Okay, so I'm just going to call that one. Um, Grain or tone contact tone machine pluck. Okay, so that's that's just a quick way of making another instrument just from and that was just from an effect that I previously made. I'll mute that one. Well, I'll keep it going for the time being, but what I'd like to do is, is duplicate that channel. So we've got another contact playing exactly the same, but this time um, I'd like to maybe create more of a pad sound, and I'm going to do that using exactly the same sound again, um, just using a single grain of the sound. Um, if I go back to Time Machine version 1, which is the original Time Machine algorithm. Take down the release, bring the attack up, you know, just give it the characteristics of a pad. And then we can play about with the start point, try and find a nicer grain. And this is this is one of the often overlooked features of uh, contacts: the the fact that you can you can do granular synthesis really well and just sort of really do some interesting stuff there. Okay, and I really liked the sound I was getting around here. So it's it's kind of like wavetable synthesis in a way, um, cross of granular synthesis. I mean, with, with wavetable synthesis, you're using a snapshot of a waveform, and basically that's what we're doing here. We've got we've got a um, very small slice, like 0.94 millisecond grain, being rapidly repeated. very very small snapshot okay and then what we can do after that is we can what we need to do is actually tune it to the um, sounds and the rest of the tune the best way to um, tune it though really is to use this really handy reference tone which is built into contact here so I can switch this on maybe pitch it down a bit so it's not quite so intrusive and just hold down F and then use the tuning We're almost there, we're just slightly out. Um, I just need to hold down the shift key so I can fine tune that.
Okay, and that sounds about bang in tune to me. Um, if you play the guitar or other stringed instruments and you've, you've ever had to tune them, um, it's exactly the same process as that, basically. You just listen for the beats, um, the, the kind of beating between the two different notes, and you just tune it until that phasing disappears. Okay, so that should now be in tune with the rest of our track. I'll just try playing it over the beats. <laughs> Thank you. 